back when I was about 12, I was introduced to Al Miola, John McLaughlin, Paco De Lucia. Famous album, Friday Night in San Francisco, all acoustic, all killer. Um, since that day, I've been listening to a lot of John McLaughlin in particular, um, and I've noticed that he does this one run that I could never figure out. I would hear him doing all these crazy runs, and I could never figure out... I couldn't picture what the hell it was. And then one day, I think I, I, think I stumbled upon it. And uh, it's a fairly simple sequence, which I'm going to call the poor man's John McLaughlin. So here it is in an E major context. And uh, of course, true to John McLaughlin, no notes are picked. <laughs> Kidding. All notes are picked. Um, so basically, what it looks like, I'm just going to use a basic three note per string E major shape. In this context, I'm going to do that double note, that B on the G string across to B on the B string, uh, which you're not really going to detect when you hear it with the con you know in context of the run because you're not going to hear two Bs in a row. It's just the way it works out. But I accidentally stumbled upon this, and I'm pretty sure it's the run that I'm hearing when I hear John play. He seems to use it quite a bit. Here's basically what it sounds like. So what I think this is, is first, second, third, fifth. So you're basically playing three notes on any given string that you're playing on, and then you pick the middle note of the next string. So if we're doing 12, 14, 16, or E, F sharp, G on the E string, um, it's going to be a B or the middle note on the A string. So with the A string having an A, B, and C sharp in this position, um, you're going to select the B. So it's not a huge deal, but it sounds kind of neat. It has a neat sort of falling up the stairs effect, if that makes any sense. You just carry that through the scale. And you can descend it the same way, where you go down three notes on any given string, and then the middle note of the next string you'll pick. And there, there you go. See, when you come from third string to second, you're not going to hear the, the unison B. It's not that, because we're not choosing that note. So, here it is again. And descending. Here it is up to speed. You can even do this with pentatonic. If you do a three note per string pentatonic shape, uh, you can apply the same formula and get um, a pretty mind melting you know, lick out of that too. Check it out, C sharp minor. So I'll keep it in the context of E major relative C sharp minor. Cool. Any scale will pretty much work as long as you're dealing with a three note per string concept of the scale. Uh, you should be able to apply that to pretty much anything. Those two are fairly easy to finger compared to other ones, but um, that's what I felt like doing. So, there you go. See ya.